How's it going guys? It's me Simon and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get the slime key and also the five gold leaves from Canalette Castle. So let's begin. So guys, the first thing you need to do is head to Maeve Village and purchase yourself a deluxe shovel. Later on in the game we're going to need the help of Kiki the monkey. She's going to help us get into Canalette Castle so we're going to need to get her some bananas. To do this we need to start this trade sequence, head to the trendy game store in May Village and play the crane game. We need to get ourselves the first trade item which is the Yoshi doll. Ta -da! So once you've got the Yoshi doll head north to the house with the two doors still in May Village and talk to Mamasha and trade her the Yoshi doll and she will give you a red ribbon in return. With the red ribbon, we're gonna head to the Chow Chow's house, which is this little dog house next to Bow Wow. And we're gonna give her the red ribbon in exchange for some dog food. Once we have the dog food, we need to head down to Toronobo Shore, to the house where there's loads of bananas. And inside, we're gonna to talk to Sale the Crocodile and he will eat the canned dog food. And in return, he will give us a lovely bunch of bananas. So now that we've got the bananas, head ourselves back to Maeve Village and to the right hand side, break through where the boulder is and head on down. And you can see the key cavern where we need the slime key for later on and then head down to Pothole Field. And there's this little house where Richard lives. Talk to Richard. And he says he knows he can get you what you want if you can get him the five gold leaves from Canalette Castle. So head your way north to the castle and instead of going through the entrance because it's locked, we need to head to the right hand side where we see Kiki the monkey. So once you talk to Kiki the monkey, give her the bananas and she will call all her friends and she will build you a nice bridge where you can cross and enter the castle. Now that we've got our way into Canalette Castle, we can now get the five gold leaves. We just got chopped this bush and then there's a secret underground path which will get us into the castle. So take out the knights and the first gold leaf is where this bird is. So take out all the knights first of course. So there's no distractions, pick up the rock, throw it at the tree and the bird will come after you, use your shield to defend yourself and when it hits low on the ground that's when you attack. When it dives down low just like that. After two hits we can collect the gold leaf and that's the first one. For the second gold leaf it's still in the outskirts of the castle, there's still a few knights around, take those out. Head to the right and there should be two more knights you need to defeat. All you have to do is use your shield to block them when they poke you with the sword and then attack. A tip here is to keep them together. It makes it easier than having one on each side to attack. So for the second gold leaf we're taking on the mad bomber. He pops up from anywhere just like a whack-a-mole. So we just need to jump out the way and dodge his bombs and then slash him 8 times and we can get the second gold leaf. Now it's time to enter the castle. Once we enter we've got to watch out for this spark which is bouncing around and there's a knight with some spears. We've got to take them out and also the red gels. And from the heavens above the third gold leaf will fall from the sky. And don't forget to pick up your rupees. And then we're going to head on up. And there'll be another two knights. One with sword and one with spear. So try not to get sandwiched in between and take too much damage. Take them out. And then there's another knight with a keys. He's got spears. Block him. He's easy to beat. And the keys of course. And then step on that button to gain access to the castle from the front gate. 
so now it's easier for us to get in anytime we like. Now head up the stairs and through the next door we're gonna go and get our fourth gold leaf. It's inside this little path here. What we need is some bombs. If you don't have any bombs I'll show you where you can get some in a minute but if you do just bomb the left hand side one and take out that knight. Watch out for the spark of course and we will get our fourth gold leaf. You'll notice in the wall there's a crack on the other side as well. If you bomb the other side, there will be a knight in there. And if you take out that knight, you'll be able to get another heart piece, which we're going to need for the final battle to get the fifth gold leaf, which is this mega knight inside with a spinny spiked ball on a chain. So if you didn't have bombs before, Entering this bit, if you break the pot, this last pot in the corner, you can pick up a bomb. And if you leave and re-enter, you can pick up another bomb. So knock down the door with a pot and inside with face the knight with the spike ball. To beat him, we need to jump out the way when he launches it at us and it gets stuck in the wall and that's when we strike him. And after about four strikes, I think, we take him out and we can pick up the gold leaf head back to Richards and he'd give us a prize. So what we need to do is move the frog statue and then we head to the underground path in his house. On the left hand side, if we jump over to the treasure chest, we can get the seashell. Otherwise, just continue on into his garden. So just slice forward to cut a path. You see that we need to go around his garden. You can clearly see where the holes are. We can't get the heart container yet, but just continue on to the owl statue. Talk to the owl. The owl will tell you, you need to dig in front of you. So if you dig right in front of the owl, up pops the slime key. And there we go. We've got the slime key. So guys, now we have the slime key. We can enter the key cavern for the next part of our walkthroughs. Consider subscribing if you want to watch that or check out some of our other videos that will help support my channel. I'm Simon for LOG Level 1 Gamer. Until next time, peace out.